hey guys i hope you're doing well and here's another look that i did and i'm still in the series of celebrating my culture and my heritage and that's why i popped in these earrings that i absolutely love they're from kenya this t-shirt is by a company called 254 home 254 is a country code for kenya i'm wearing a, this so that to protect it from the powder and this is the logo home and that's my the uh, kenya's map if you want to know and see how i got this look please stay tuned I'll be using this Tammy and Makeup Revolution Carnival palette and I'll also be using the Juvia's Place. This is the Masquerade, the mini palette. And to start off with, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Cool Tan to use it as a base for my eyeshadows. And I already did my eyebrows. I'm gonna start off using Tammy's palette and I'm gonna be using the shades Trini and Spice Island, which is these two shades right here. This is Trini and this is Spice Island. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna be using Spice Island and I don't know how to pronounce this other one, but I will show it to you. I was going for an, I'm going for an orange yellowish sunset look. So that other shade is not going to work. I'm going to be using this yellow and this orange from this palette. And then I'm going to be using a darker shade from the Juvia's Place. So for right now, I'm going to start off with the orange, which is Spice Island. And that I'm going to put it inside my eye socket. And then I'm going to use the yellow one to, I don't know, what am I going to say? To, to blend the orange out, if that makes sense. And I'm going to use a tapered brush and I want it to get in right there. I'm going to use the same brush and what I did to switch the color, I used this little color changer thing from Sonia Cashew and it looks like this. And now all you do is just swirl around this thing and it tends to take out the orange color that was previously there. So I'm going to go in with a yellow shade now. I don't know if this is going to show on my skin tone, but I want to put it on above the orange. It's not really showing. It's there, but it's not there, you know, I don't know. It's not really showing on my skin tone, but I like the, I like the brightness it's giving it. Yeah, this yellow is really not showing up on my skin tone. I want to do the same thing to the other eye. I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette and I'm going to be using Zulu, which is this very nice, like a deep orange shade. And I'm going to put that on the corners of my eye. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting my crease with my concealer. And I usually don't cut a very big one. Because I want to put more shades on this side. I'm going to go back in this Tummy palette. And this time, I'm going to be a little bit daring. I'm going to use this green here. And I'm going to use this one in the corners of my eye. I don't know how that's going to look like. But let's do it. I actually don't mind how it looks like. I was nervous. Let me see if I use my finger, this is easier. And I pack small punch with my finger. But to reach up here, I'm gonna use the tip of the brush. I laid it down with a brush first and then I put it on with my finger so that I don't erase or take away the concealer. Okay. Go the back to that um, the palette and do the shimmer shade and i'm using this really tiny brush this is from kylie it's really small and i really like it because it gets right in there i'm gonna put some on the corner of my eye too to blend the two shades together i'm gonna use the same brush i used and just blend that 
blend the, the the dark green with the shimmer i really really like this shade i wasn't sure how it was gonna come out and then to blend the darker green with the outer shade i'm gonna use the same brush i used the last time and just blend these two together To blend everything up here, back to the tapered brush with no product, just blend up here. I'm gonna go do my face now. And to start that off, I'm gonna use a primer, the No Problem Touch and Sew Primer. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a wing today. I usually like to do my eyes first so that in case of any fallout with the eyeshadow, I won't have any issues. The foundation I'm going to use is from Pauline Cosmetics and they are based here in Nairobi, Kenya. And I'm in the shade MC705 and I've already put on my brush. And this is the Sigma Beauty. This is the Bake Kabuki but I use because it's angled. I really like it. And I really put a little. I don't like to put a lot of foundation. Always a struggle to put your foundation above your already done eyebrows, isn't it? <laughs> I know I look crazy, I know. And it looks like it's not matching with my skin tone, but trust me, it is. It just needs to be blended out. I'm really not sure why the camera is picking it so yellow base, but in real life and in natural lighting, this is my complete skin tone. It looks yellow here on the camera, but when I look at it on the mirror, in the natural lighting, it looks good. So we're just gonna move on with a concealer. Colourpop in the shade Dark 46. And this is from Beaky Blender. It looks like it's gonna rain. And to set the concealer, I'm gonna be using this powder RCMA No Color Powder. It's very messy. So I had to put it on the cup. And as usual, guys, you know, I don't bake. I just place the powder there and that's it. I have very dry under eyes, so I don't like to put a lot of powder there or let it sit. Now to contour, I'm gonna use what I've been using here, the Fenty Beauty. This is the Mocha Mami. I'm gonna use it as my contour. I can have to put a little. I'm gonna go back to Juvia's palette and I'm gonna use Zulu and that I'm gonna use that under my lower lids. And then to set my whole look, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Pauline Cosmetics, this powder, super coverage powder, and this is in cocoa, that's the shade. And I'm gonna use one of their powder blending brushes uh, and this is just to put the color back on my face and to set the whole look before you put the setting spray. All right, I'm not gonna put too much powder. I'm gonna go to Jackie Aina's palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm gonna use this shade as my highlighter because I don't have a highlighter. Highlighter, highlighter, tomato, tomato. The shade is Soleil. I'm using an angled brush to get right on my cheek. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to wear blush today or any day. I'm not a fan of blush, so I'm not going to wear it. So guys, I went in and did a lot. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. That's why I'm wearing this thing, just to protect from powder. And I have a hat on. This is kind of the look I was going for today. And I popped in my lashes and I used the magnetic eyelashes. So I want to set all this and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. I also wanted a bold lip. I'll be using the Fenty Beauty and this is Underdog. The applicator is weird. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the final look for today. 
I'm just cleaning the side using a concealer. This is in the shade Chestnut, the one I used to set my eyebrows. Oh, and my hair, I got this from Natural Hair Kenya. Oh, we've lost power. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not going to take pictures inside because it's raining. Ah, I hope it comes back. Okay, that's all for today. I feel like I want to add pop in this, you know, the, this, the shiny. Which one was this? I don't remember the shade. But I feel like I want to put it here, but I don't want it to be too much because when that is... Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I went in and popped in earrings again just to celebrate my heritage. And the t-shirt I'm wearing is by this company called Home 254. 254 is the country code for Kenya, which is my home country. It's a pretty nice t-shirt. That's the logo in home. And I went to that store and I went crazy. I bought too much stuff. I hope you like this look. As usual, be kind to others, be kind to yourselves. And I'll be bringing more looks, of course, showing you guys my heritage. But for, the, for today, I just wanted to just bring like a regular look, but pop in a little bit, you know, of a Kenyan. Thank you so much, guys. And have a lovely day. Bye.